Hey y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome back to my channel, Rochelle Budgets. Today we're going to be setting up or prepping my budget for the month of August. So y'all, I have here my Erin Condren monthly budget planner or my monthly plan that I use for budgeting. Then I have here this eight and a half by 11, the Budget Mom Budget by Paycheck Workbook. And I do use both of these for budgeting and I'll explain to you I'll explain to you why and how and you will always also see it here shortly. I have my calculator here just in case I need to do some calculations. I don't think so, but just in case. And then I have a hodgepodge here of stickers. Well, I have stickers here that I'm gonna hodgepodge later. Let me just show you. So I have this sinking funds and this weekly check-in. Um, sticker sheets here by the caffeinated Kate. I have here this thick washi um, strip sheet here by Sarah Marie stickers and then I have stickers by Jennifer over at Life in Envelopes. So I am a PR friend of Jennifer's and she has given me the coupon code YouTube 15 to save you 15% off of your purchase if you choose to um, shop from her site. So here are the stickers here. It's called Babushka. So you have here date covers. Well, this is, okay, let me explain. So this is the complete pack is what I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> Excuse me, so in the complete pack, here's what you get. So you get some date covers or date dots. You get the sidebar. So you get this, um, Top washi here for your monthly spread. You've got the thick bottom washi here. Sorry about that. This kit is really pretty and bright. Then you have here the budget stickers, cash envelope sheet, your expense tracker sheet, and then also the meal plan sheet. So I never use the meal planning sheet. I, I may need to, just so that way um, I'll just use up my sticker sheet, my sticker kits here, or my sticker sheets here, and so that it doesn't go to waste. And I also have here her monthly sheet here, and then um, the year also. So that's what we're gonna be using for these two planners here. I'm thinking that I will first set up, let's first go ahead and set up our, or my Budget by Paycheck Mom workbook. Let's go ahead and set this up. So let's kind of move some things out of the way so that we can go ahead and prep to, or begin to set up this workbook. We'll move the calculator all right y'all so sorry if it's really zoomed in but this sticker book or this not sticker book this workbook is huge and so that's where we are for right now um i can't zoom out anymore but let's go ahead and put these stickers down so what i am going to do is set up everything using my budget stickers the thick washi the monthly uh, spread washi the cash envelopes the expense trackers and the monthly and the dates or in the year stickers and also probably the meal plan and so I'll go ahead and speed this up so that way I don't bore you too much and then we'll come back and then just look at everything.
All right, y'all. So we have everything, all of our stickers down. So we have here our August monthly pages. And I have, I've gone through and I've put down all of the bills, the fixed and the variable bills. And I've checked them off, the ones that were paid, because today is Saturday the 6th that I am filming this video. So some things have already hit the account. So those are shown by check marks. I also have here our paydays on the stickers. I have our paydays um, on the calendar. And then I have my YouTube pay. And then just, all, like I said, all of our bills for the month. And then we flip to our budget sheets, our weekly budgets. So week one, 731 through 86. Then our cash envelope. I skipped this week, as you guys probably saw. But this is week five, 828 through 93. Then we get to week two, eight seven through eight thirteen. Week three, eight fourteen uh, to eight twenty, and then week four, eight twenty one, eight twenty seven, and then we get into our, our our expense tracking. So here's week one, week two, week three, week four, and then week five, and then just skip these pages, and then we have our meal planning sheet here. So, um. If I don't forget, I'm going to come in and fill in what we ate for or what I cooked or what do we ate, eat for each day of the month. Okay, so that is all I do to set up um, this workbook here. As a bill is paid, I'll come back and I will check it off. Okay, so let's put down goals for the month. So goals for this month, I want to save at least... $200 and we did accomplish that last month. Let's see what I had done for last month. Um, I need to start back contributing to our sinking funds. And then start back saving for our savings challenges. Okay. So that's it for this workbook. She's a big one. Eight and a half by 11. She is thick, y'all. So, okay. So now we have here my Erin Condren monthly planner. And let's flip to the August section here, the August calendar. And I'm going to try something different this month. I have some stickers, some, where are they, expense tracking stickers that I want to use and to track our expenses. I will still use my um, I will still use my um, skin is called a skinny mini notebook from the happy planner. I will still use that to put down or to jot down the expense and then I'll come and notate on these pages here the actual expenses. So that way and I don't know how often or how long, not how often, but how long I will continue to track or write down the expenses in that little workbook. But for right now, I'm still going to track it there. But I have here these expense tracking stickers by Sarah Marie stickers, excuse me. So I have the pink. I'm going to color code these to coincide with what I was using my Paycheck Bond workbook. I was using my Sharpie S notes. I will write down the different expenses and then I will come in use the highlighter method and highlight them but I don't know if I'll still do that though I'm going to try these out because to me they'll be I'll be double tracking so I'm not sure I have to figure out if I still want to use the budget by paycheck mom workbook and this Aaron Condren workbook for budgeting for next year for the rest of this year 2022 I'm going to use them both but I'm not saying I'm going to use both of these to track expenses. So it's going to be one or the other. But so here is pink. Then we have yellow. 
we have this like mint or turquoise color then we have pink and then green and I have only five because I only like to track five things which are gas eating out groceries household and I'm budgeting so gas groceries household eating out miscellaneous or unbudgeted so those are the five categories that I want to track so and that'll go on these pages here now let's flip to these pages here I'm going to set up these pages so I'm going to set up the weekly check-in and I'm going to use these stickers here by the caffeinated Kate so let's put this down So we have that there, and then we'll put this here. Yeah, this is the weekly check-in. Okay. And then we'll come in with the different weeks here. See, this is a little different from Sarah Marie, but I don't think it's too much different. Okay. So it's a little different, but not too bad. Okay, so what is this we have? Where do I put these at? And then let's come in and draw our lines. Then we have this one here. So week one, we have one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll put it here. So there are five weeks for or in this month and so I don't yeah I don't have yes I do I do have five I was gonna say I don't have enough but she did include five there or in this kit well actually all of her kits she included five so that's that one so week two oh let's put down week two So one, two, three, four, five, and we'll just put this one here. Okay. And that's week three. I'm getting ahead of myself, y'all. Okay, let's put this down. So y'all, we have, um, still have not fully, I wanna say recuperated from me being off of work. Um, well, not recoup, recoup from being off from work, but dipping into like our savings and got back on track from me not working those three weeks or four weeks back in March and then the one week in May. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll put this one here. And so, um, and then we just had other things come up. We did have some unbudgeted items this past month, like past month, like um, my daughter getting her hair done. What else? Um, senior pictures, clothes. I mean, mom payment. We just, it just, it, did not budget for and so hey that's life right things come up things happen one two three four five and then we'll put this here and so yeah it is what it is but we've got to get back on track i think let's put this here and then 
I'll just carry it over at the end of the month. All right. So now we're going to come in with our lines here. And I really do need to start tracking. I haven't tracked expenses in so long. And you can definitely tell because um, we've just been spending, spending, spending. Now I need to get back on track with that. So the categories that I like to track are, let me tell you, eating out, gas, groceries, household, and unbudgeted. See, I want to go ahead and put this line here to separate the weeks from the categories. May as well. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to use this here. And this is going to be my budget side. So you'll see here in a second. I know I told y'all it's hodgepodge, but it's okay. Okay, so we have that there. So this is going to be the budget. And then I'm going to do here on this side, the sinking funds. So we don't have... Our sinking funds stayed the same. I didn't close out the budget from last month because I did not do a good job. I didn't track anything. So I didn't feel like I needed to close any or try to do a video to close out anything because there was there was nothing to close out because I didn't track anything. I am definitely going to get better at that because I do want to bring y'all content and I do want to hold myself accountable and bring y'all along with me. So, yeah. I will be doing a better job of this this month and going forward because we've got to get our expenses and our finances on track. Okay, I can't do that with that coil there, so let's do this. Put this here, and then we can come in and write down all of our um, sinking funds. Now, you will notice, or I don't know if you will notice, but I cut out some sinking funds just because it just, it makes sense right now. Things that we don't have coming up for a while, I cut it out like anniversary, basketball, things like that. Um, they have been cut out at the moment. So it's anniversary. Our anniversary is in July. It was last month. So there was no need for me for right now to save when there are other things that need that are pressing that needs that attention. So I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna write down our sinking funds and then I'll be back. y'all so we have all of our sinking funds listed and i told you that i was going to condense these and i did so i took out anniversary basketball back to school um month ahead and date night so i took those out and we're going to go ahead and put our totals in now if you have to take out some of your sinking funds and do something different just tweak whatever that's fine do what you have to do for your budget i mean it's personal finance so make it work for you and your family whatever that is that you have to do and then it's still not the same okay so yeah so if you don't need i don't know 15 sinking funds or if you can't contribute to 15, contribute to 15 sinking funds then cut them out so, okay, so this is 
10, 21, that was easy. So that's 21 dollars that we have in three sinking funds all together this is totals 480 and then um when i close out the month if i had i don't think i'll be taken away from these sinking funds i should not be so this will probably stay as is and then the ending should still be you know 480 so that is that on sinking funds and then we're gonna come back let's see we're gonna come back here to this page and let me zoom out some so I'm gonna come back here and we are going to map out my budget I'm gonna put this here I'm gonna write on the actual strip The washi strip so this is going to be income type and then estimated and then actual and then plus or minus Okay, so the different incomes is my income, which I don't share. So this is from my, my nine to five, then my husband's. And then I'm going to put other. And I'm going to put total. Income. This probably should go here. Now I'm gonna draw these lines in. Okay. And I want to put a break here because I don't have the washi tape. I'm just going to draw it here. There. And I'm going to draw it here. So just creating a chart. So to speak. All right. And I'll fill this, these numbers in offline. So then next we're going to have um, variable expenses and then it's going to be budget and then actual and then over here it's going to be fixed expenses fixed expenses And then here in this column is going to be the amount. Now we're going to come in with the different variable expenses. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's draw this line in. Okay. So now the variable expenses that I'm going to be tracking is water. Oh, wait. Yeah, water. And I'm going to budget for $150. TXU, which is our energy, $300. Spectrum, which is our home phone, cable, and internet provider. So I'm going to say $350. And then we have eat out which is 200 and if this needs to be adjusted it will be gas 
200 and that's for our cars not our home our home is all electric groceries 400 household 100 miscellaneous and unbudgeted I'm gonna say 50 which is probably gonna be more than that I just have an inkling sinking funds 480 savings challenges 115 and then tolls 50 for a total of $2,470 even. So let's do this. Let's draw in our lines. And then let's do this here. What I'm going to do is white out this because I want this to be a break, a separation. Uh oh. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I want there to be a separation in the two different um, columns there. Now we're going to come to our fixed expenses amount. Amount. And the fixed expenses, they are fixed, they don't change during the month so that's why they're going to be in this ex fixed expenses column the variable expenses these can change that's why you see a budget and then an actual whatever the budgeted whatever the actual amount is during the month i'll come in and i'll write down the actual amount and let's see something here and i was going to say whether we were over or under yeah it's supposed to be plus or minus plus or minus okay so our fixed expenses are like I said these don't change they stay consistent so it is our rent So that's $1,980. Netflix. That's $21.64. Canva, which is an app that I use to do my thumbnails for YouTube. So that's $12.95. Epidemic Sound is where I get my music for YouTube. This is $15. Ortho is $69.23. Facetune. And that's an app that I use if I want to adjust different things with the um, with my pictures for either Instagram and uh, my YouTube thumbnail but I'm thinking about this I may like pause this put this on pause because I haven't used it in a in a while and then when I do use it it's not enough to justify eight dollars and sixty five cents worth of use so check which is a study platform for my oldest daughter she uses it for college so sixteen dollars and eighteen cents I'm thinking Dillard's probably should have gone over here in the variable expenses, but I'm gonna put it over here under uh, fixed because that's how I have it calculated. 100, iTunes, $10.81. And then Dillard's is probably gonna be, that's gonna probably gonna be another, I know it's gonna be under unbudgeted because I'm gonna put more than $100 there. So we'll see. Um, how I will notate that going forward. So Google, that's for Google Storage. 
that is $3.19. Hulu, $14.06. Cell phone, or cell phones, $4.50. And we do have six lines. Cap one. One hundred cap one, one fifty cap one, one fifty chair three eighty life insurance one zero nine thirty five. Auto insurance for sixty, and that is for four cars, two with full coverage, and two with liability plus uninsured motors. IRS two hundred. I'm hoping um, we looked at our balance today, and hopefully this should be paid off. Hopefully um, next year. So IRS, so we have here Ryder's Pup Box. Make sure I put my um, lines up here. So Pup Box is Ryder's Pup Box. So it's 31.39 Ryder's well plan is $35.95. Disney Plus, that should have been over on the other page up at the top. Disney Plus, $8.63. Bank of America credit card, $100. So I got some credit cards y'all I got to get rid of. Wix, $23.81, and then ADT Security is $48.70, and we'll draw in our lines. Then we'll put our totals here. And so our total fixed expenses for the month is So, so let's flip through and show you everything that I did. All right, so we have our weekly check-in and um, I'm gonna try to do this every week to come in and do a weekly check-in. Like I said, I'm trying to be better about checking in, tracking our expenses and checking in with y'all and, and also checking in with myself as well. So that way we can see where we are for the month and how much we have to go. So that way we don't go over the budgeted amount. So we've got our weekly check-in page. Then we have our budget page. I wish I could, I may just put budget up here. So we have our budget sheet here and it's continued here on the back and then we have our sinking funds page here and I used to would have a transaction log but you don't have any money in our sinking funds to do any transactions like that so that'll come later whenever we build these sinking funds back up oh y'all so that is it for this video i hope you all were able to take something away and able to apply it to your uh, monthly budget or weekly budgets um i hope you all enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me over on instagram and thanks so much for watching Bye, guys.